Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So we start off with the US 30 as ever. Volatile session yesterday again with the US 30 hitting 17.361 uh, before bouncing off and then uh, finishing up a little bit higher already as we get into drift that little bit lower as most European markets are as well. China and Asia are off again. Um, and that maybe gives you a bit of an idea about where we, where we are today. So the technicals are still relatively neutral. They're not yet oversold, so they still could be for the downside. We're trading quite far below both those moving averages uh, and have extended to the downside. So this is beginning to look quite uh, kind of top heavy. Uh, and uh, obviously with non-farm payrolls today, uh, I wouldn't be that surprised to see uh, quite thin volume until closer to the time um, because the Fed has said many times it's very data dependent about any rate hike in September. So if non-farm payrolls comes in very, very weak or very, very strong, uh, it's probably just more keenly watched than ever this month. So it will be very, very important. So moving on to the UK 100, um, a failure three times to break through 67.71, also coincides with that 55 period FMA, drifting lower this morning, other technicals neutral, um, obviously quite a different formation to the US 30. So having a look at Japan 225, so dollar yen uh, was almost at 125 yesterday, it's currently 124.75. Um, that gives you a bit of an idea of where the uh, Japan 25 is. Could be a triple top forming. It's not been able to break through 20,868 and close above there um, for a number of years. Uh, we are trading now in between, you've got your moving averages just slightly below the tips of these candles right here. The other technicals, very much like most of the other indices, are kind of neutral. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see for Japan 25 finishes up to date. Obviously, if uh, non farms comes out strong, that's going to be bullish for the US dollar, and you could see a big move in dollar yen, which will be coincide with a decent move for Japan 225. So let's have a look at um, dollar yen. You can see dollar yen still firmly trading above through potential resistance 124.42, next potential uh, resistance 126. Um, now, it did break through with some decent conviction there on Wednesday. It didn't do a lot yesterday, and it's just floating around today. I would imagine that's going to be pretty much the case for most FX pairs until we get non-farm payrolls out of the way. Um, looking at West Texas crude, it was down as low as 44.10 yesterday. Uh, managed to get off the session lows. It's in positive territory at the moment, but only just. Um, on the intraday charts, it's very, very flat. Seeing an interesting move in gold first thing this morning, actually. Probably happens maybe about four in the morning. There's been a short term spike up. Uh, so that looks like a technical breakout of the symmetrical triangle on the upside. Uh, I'm not entirely quite sure why that's the case because you're not really seeing it on any of the other um, standard FX pairs. So perhaps somebody's just taking a bit of a view that non farm payrolls might not be quite as good as what some people might think. Um, but it certainly is an unusual spike because it's, it's basically jumped almost $10. Uh, in a very short period of time uh, and it's still towards the top end of its range right now so it's actually it's shooting off just as we're currently looking at it it's almost getting back to 1100 uh, so we'll see how that uh, how that pans out but that's an interesting technical break you guys should keep an eye on that so finishing up there with GBP USD and euro dollar so euro dollar flat not doing a huge amount technicals flattening out in the middle of two ranges actually euro dollar is probably the least exciting FX pair today uh, and then have a look at uh, cable. So obviously um, we had Kearney come out yesterday with the minutes on interest rates, basically casting a lot of doubt on um, any significant rises anytime soon. Um, the MPC vote came in uh, seven to one. Uh, uh, sorry, eight to one. I think people were expecting seven to two. Um, so less people voting for uh, a pro rate hike um, than expected. And very much the same that the strength of, of the sterling is, uh, is of critical importance to the competitiveness of the UK economy. Uh, and Kearney was very quite clear about the fact that things need to get a lot better before he would put that at risk by raising rates too soon and increasing the value of the sterling, which has already had quite a good run. So that's why we've got such a negative bearish engulfing pattern uh, yesterday and today's not that much better. So uh, again, non-farm payrolls is at 130. Uh, that could be something that could be a catalyst to drive that even lower if it's a very strong figure. Uh, I guess it gets kind of more interesting if it comes out pretty weak. Now, ADP private payrolls missed expectations, um, and they're expecting 223,000, which is a fairly big number, if I'm completely honest. So uh, make sure you've got your alerts set for that. There is actually a live webinar today. You just go to support, 
and then go to uh, live trader events you probably see that in the promo pod on the platform but anybody can go ahead and join that you can also just go to the cmcmarkets.co.uk website and go to the education section and uh, you'll be able to tune in right then and there so guys keep your eye on the chart form i can see there's a couple of uh, of cmc markets clients again posting content on there which is fantastic uh, insights make sure you make that part of your layout going forward and join me again on monday to find out what happened next